What do you think? I love it. Yeah, it's great, right? Is everything good at work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sorted out the uh, file error. I love the use of the cityscape in Montreal, but I also love the rural stuff you guys shot in the woods. There were some moments that uh, were kind of like The Shining, the tracking shots yeah. behind the snow yeah. That's People have been saying that. We haven't had the tracking shot through like the, the snow shag well, pines in a while. You just know that if Hollywood had made the film too, they would have overlit the, uh, the forest sequence stuff. It would have right. looked like a back lot. And it looked like we were out there in the woods with you guys. That's because that's where we were. Yeah. And there was no lighting out there. Yeah. <laughs> just the daylight. Well, it felt great. It felt good to have that comedy. Yeah. Yeah, and in cold environments, people, yeah. they CG in the breath. Totally. Yeah. You've been living and working in Montreal for a long time. Being Human is, is uh, produced out of Montreal. And you also work with Sam Huntington, who's your co-star on the movie. So you're familiar with the area. You're familiar with the, uh, the weather. Yeah, I'm familiar with the area, the weather, and Sam Huntington. Was that all helpful to making the film live off the page and be a better experience for everybody? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just nice to have that relationship already there with Sam. I feel so comfortable with him. And Carl and Sue, the characters that we play, their relationship is very much of a brother and sister relationship, which is what I have with Sam. Yeah. So we didn't have to work on it in that sense. We had to work on our sexual chemistry. Right. But not our friendship. We also asked Megan about being human. She told us how much she loves working on the show, and she teased us a little bit about what might be in store later on in season four. You spend your life being trapped and victimized. It's our usual action-packed supernatural drama, but there's so there's so many beautiful character moments that happen this season, especially towards the end of it, that really change the way we're all going to feel about the show. Now you've got the experience now of you know, crafting a character over a bunch of episodes over several years. You've also been working on projects that happen in 19 days. <laughs> what do you prefer? Or do you prefer, do you like the, the melange of it all? Yeah, I, I, like, the, I like the melange. Mm. Um, it's two entirely different things. Yeah. Both fast paced because of time constraints, but content wise, incredibly different. So nice doing a show for four years and feeling so comfortable with the character and the people you're working with. My nature, I like to change. I want to I want to do other things. So it's been nice to have a balance of the two. One of the many cool things about Three Night Stand is that Megan got the chance to work behind the scenes on the film as a producer, a role she clearly enjoyed. Was this the first thing you produced? Yes. How does that feel? It feels great. I mean, I, I love uh, feeling like I have power over everybody. <laughs> so that was nice. I love just like... Did you like, fire anyone's Every day. I love bossing people around. Yeah, it's Pack like... Pack your stuff and get out. 